Transportation is becoming a much more complicated environment with all the mobility services that are coming into the market along with autonomous cars. How do we kind of adapt to this fast pace of innovation that's happening while still keeping people safe and allowing transportation to be efficient? Move was really founded by Rafa and myself, and we had both looked at the market. What excited us was this fact that vehicles were starting to collect information and actually be digital in nature. So now you had an opportunity to collect a lot of deep knowledge about how transportation works, and that was obviously going to be something that we could leverage and help everybody in the industry to do a better job of understanding and kind of evolving into this new market. We can use all that sort of information to figure out how uh, complex a uh, driving situation there is on the roads and how that complexity can map to uh, safety. The way we build features is the most important thing. 15 trillion points of data is just too much to do anything with in its raw form. The Move platform is really there to do a couple of things. Putting it into a system where it can be accessed by developers and analysts, that's one of the jobs we do. And then we also take that information and start to build some of the algorithms that would be common if you were going to start to try to work with the information. So it's more of a platform for analysts and developers versus an end solution. We want to save lives. Um, uh, vehicle accidents are one of the biggest killers in the United States and in the world. Um, if you can take that even down by a very small percentage, it makes a huge number of, of difference in people's lives. The more closely we can work with uh, local governments and departments of transportation, uh, the more we can do to, to improve safety. We're working with the uh, Hawaiian Department of Transportation. Hawaii is a perfect test bed to start this out. Um, they're, they're isolated, they're creative, they're forward-looking. Um, so working with them is a perfect way to, to start this uh, journey. Vehicles already have very complex suspension systems. They are computers. They're just computers, not in the sense of you think of your laptop, right? But they're sensing the road a thousand times a second and making decisions on how tight the suspension is and how that car is going to, you know, keep its, its steadiness on the road. So basically, if we take MOVE and we start to analyze all the vehicle data across all the road types, we'll be able to build machine learning that will dial the suspension in to its best possible you know, configuration for maximum traction and control on the road, which improves safety. So that's an example where I can tie together, you've built a better product, a better ride, but you've actually impacted safety while you've done that. So when we think about this information, that's what we're trying to weave together is that, you know, cars for a hundred years have been doing this, right? Airbags were huge things, seat belts were huge things, right? So in essence, what we're excited about is now data is gonna get us to the next level of safety. It's not about a physical constraint anymore, it's now about how that car behaves. Our vision is that transportation is, is a, an environment where there's a lot of different players trying to understand it. Automotive companies, departments of transportation, you know, uh, logistics companies, right? You just go down the list, you know, transportation touches a lot of businesses in everybody's life, right? So. We're not coming up with one app, we're building an environment where people can collaborate to try to solve problems.